Hello, everyone. Welcome to Famous Ish. Hi. Hi. Hello, hello. Hi. How's everyone doing this week? Ugh. Why does it feel like it should be like Sunday, but also Monday? I don't know. Like, yeah. What it, day is it even? Oh, my God. It's, it's just, <laughs> our life is so weird now. Is it? I mean, yeah, it's weird. I don't have any, like, you know, it's weird when you don't mm-hmm. have a set thing to do. Yes. And I so need the, to figure yeah. out a schedule. Yes, yeah, so like I said, we thrive on schedules, or at least I thrive on schedules. You did have a, we did have a few things this week, like Wayne had a doctor's appointment. Yeah, and a doctor's which appointment. Which, when you're 41, you know, things get moving. It was just a um, uh, what? What I'm just saying, the doctor's <laughs> appointment gets moving. You know, you gotta go see the doctor. Yeah, no, yeah, definitely go see the doctor and make sure you're good. Um, but it was just a uh, routine. Follow up to follow up to all like the testing and all the other stuff you did. Yeah, which we talked about months ago. So this is finally the follow up where you got to actually sit with the doctor. Seem to be mm-hmm. in good health. Have good blood blood pressure. Good. We haven't, blood pressure pressure we haven't raised. We haven't raised his blood pressure yet, Cam. I said. <laughs> I said. Uh, <laughs> that's interesting for my diet. Mm-hmm. And I have a high sodium diet. Good blood pressure. Little Debbie's, yeah, little Debbie's, little Debbie's diet. doing me good, yo. <laughs> you got little, little Debbie's, Debbie's island diet. There's a sample size of one. If you eat a lot of little <laughs> Debbie's and ramen, you'll have good uh, blood pressure. Yeah, so you can't you can't handle hot cheese. It's all a myth, people. So okay, that's excellent and excellent. Okay, and so you had allergy testing come back. Yeah. How was your allergy testing? Unbelievable. Okay, I, so I'm not allergic to any foods. That's I'm not news. allergic to really anything. I'm allergic to two things, all right? And I don't even know what the hell the first one is. Olive trees. Theoretically, trees that are around here. Not like olive trees, like in an olive grove. But they don't actually maybe. grow olives because yeah. I love olives. And I'm, I'm not allergic to olives, <laughs> I don't think. Is it the olive eating that's killing me? No, it has something to do. It's a certain kind of tree. So basically outside. Yes. Uh-huh. Well, that's okay. I'm allergic to outside. That's great. Outside where there are olive trees. The certain a lot kind of, of places, olive trees. though. Apparently, it's common in Vegas. Okay. And? And cats. And cats. So, outdoors. <laughs> cats. And indoors. I'm outdoors not, yeah. and I'm pretty indoors. much screwed is what I am. So, she goes, you're allergic to cats? How did it come out? Like, it was kind of funny. She was, like, she was like, okay, so you're allergic to uh, olive olive oil. Um, wait, no, sorry. Olive tree. So, I was okay. like, okay, thank God, because I thought she said olive oil. Yeah, that'd be and bad. And I was like, olive oil's good. It is good. Cook and then you use it and everything, so... You're killing me slowly. This is Forensic <laughs> Files episode. I saw olive and I had a plan. Olive oil. <laughs> she knew her husband was allergic to olive oil. And cats. And she put it in every dish. Um, and then she said, and you're allergic to cats. And she's like, do you have a cat? And I was silent. And she's <laughs> like, a dog? And and then I just put my fingers up like five. And but I five. <laughs> and I go, I five. I just got a brand new kitten last week. And she's like, you got a freaking kitten. She's so funny. And I'm like, yeah, okay. So I have four cats, three adult cats, one pretty much becoming a cat, and then a freaking kitten. Yeah. She's like, oh my god, you're alive. You're breathing. <laughs> you're you breathing. <laughs> Barely. This is why. This is what is the issue, babe. This is the issue. So this is like every time you're like, what's going on? You can never breathe. You know, you need to get checked out. And I'm healthy. I just love it's cats. It's the cats. It's my love of cats. It's the cats. It's worth it's it, though. Bring him down. He can't hear. can't breathe. But he has a cat to pet while he's not breathing. Yeah. Ah. While he's heavily breathing in the corner. Look, I love cats. <laughs> and then she asked for pictures of all the cats and you showed her all the Yeah, we did cats. a little picture thing. I was like, this is Opie, this is Uno. And she's like, oh, they're cute, you know. And then <laughs> she was like, no more. <laughs> and I said, with the magic doctors, number seven. And she's like, no more. Doctor's orders. If you doctor's get another cat, orders. it's defying so doctor's I orders. I actually got the doctor's orders. And she no should have cats. written it out on a prescription pad. No more cats. <laughs> no more. Barely legible. And, it, and you're like, wait, more cats? But I'm not allergic to ferrets. I bet you're allergic to ferrets. I doubt ferrets is on the test. No. Do you think okay. So I'm allergic for to cats. Good. And, but I've, I've been around cats my entire life. My my parents had cats growing up. We had a you couple did? cats. Yeah, we've always had cats. Oh, I assumed you weren't like we really had dogs cats. too, but we've always had. You weren't cats. like cat people though. And even when I was like on my own, I had a cat. Like I love cats. You know what I mean? I didn't know about this. I always assumed you just didn't have cats. Well, I found cats. You know, I have cats come okay. to me. I'm the cat guy. Like I let Camden mm-hmm. like the cat 
whisperer. But also, like, when I went to apartments, even when I went on trips, you know that I showed you pictures. I would go to the yes, hotel yes. and some cat would come to me and be like, I had a cat. Yes. I'm like bubbles. Yes, you like They're the kitty everywhere. Kitties. And they they came to me and you're like, don't pet them. And I'm like, but I want to. But you at the same time don't because they're like outside yeah. scary cats. Scary cats. But, but they come cats. to you. They know they would say, what's up? Well, so cat? that's it. And you're allergic to cats. And we our cat. Uh, I feel like <coughs> remember we talked about last week how cats are paranormal, whatever. Yep. We had some cat incidents. On Mother's Day, Alfie was acting super freaking strange. Very strange. He me- was meowing constantly. He was doing all this stuff. And he was hanging out in the shower. Yeah. Like, that's really weird for a cat. That is weird. Mm-hmm. And it could have something to do with mental decline and being 16 years old. But we're not going to say, say that. We're not no. going to think that's happening. No. He saw a ghost. Our shower yeah. is haunted. And it's... No, it's not just that. It's the bathroom. I think it might be the mirror. I think it might be Bloody Mary. <gasps> oh, my actually. gosh. Because so... uh, not only was he in one shower, okay. he was... In the other bathroom, just sitting there. Right so he went the from one bathroom and then to the other shower and yeah, the other bathroom. Yeah, he did. It's Roger. Okay, not Bloody Mary. Roger. Roger was is having no, intestinal issues. Lives yeah. in the bathroom. He was just That's helping. Yeah. I Roger was having. I don't want to think about Roger in the bathroom when I'm in the bathroom and I'm showering. I don't want to think about Roger in the shower <laughs> there with me. <laughs> no, Roger had food poisoning that day. He must have. Yeah. Something uh, was Alfie going on was with the Roger. emotional support. Alfie, Alfie and disturbed. Roger must be close friends maybe roger's a cat ghost yeah so our old man alfie he's 16 now so he was having a day and we were worried but now we're saying it's ghosts so that's what we're saying everything it's, it passed a, over yeah, he, it, he hasn't was. been having he has just, been hanging out in the shower he seems normal now he seems back to normal weird, alfie. That weird one day thing. <laughs> so we were a little concerned that day we've all had those days we have all had all this one day, day of like the I yeah. have had those days. Yeah, we all have. Uh-huh. It's not. And I mm-hmm. hope everyone had a good Mother's Day. That was on Mother's Day, and I got my blender, and we made a smoothie, and it was yes. excellent. It was excellent. It was a good smoothie. And, except this blender, the manual for this blender is scary. Is it? Yeah, it's like you follow our directions and our instructions, or <laughs> mm-hmm. this thing will explode. Not really, but like... It's like a goosebumps. Basically, we're not responsible if things go bad. Wow. You know, like you got to follow this stuff. Follow the instructions. Crazy. Because people with blenders are dangerous. They just start throwing stuff in there, you know. What are we throwing Let's in blend the blender? Blend an iPhone. Blend. You know. <laughs> hey, hey, Wayne, can you blend the iPhone? So when you when you <laughs> clean remember this that from uh, movie, Ren and Stimpy? Bob. Can you deep fry the couch? Remember can that? You deep fry the couch. Yeah, I okay. do. I believe so. Sorry, that was a great show. That was from Ren and Stimpy. Remember that episode? But did it Anyways. clean easily after you made your smoothie? I just rinsed and you're supposed to do you rinse it immediately. you're supposed to do the special thing where you put in water and you put a little dish soap and then you blend it with that and then you rinse it out. And you didn't do that. So you are already mm. freaking breaking the rules. So if so if it all goes downhill now, then they're gonna blame it on that one instance of me just yep. kinda half assing it a little bit. They are. But why am I half assing it literally on the first use? Eh, that's just me. <laughs> eh. So, this anyway. is how it goes. It's because it's super expensive and they don't want to give you your money back. But we bought it at Costco. Loophole. You got a good deal. Loophole. Costco, theoretically. We don't uh, utilize this. That's we right. don't utilize this, but theoretically, Costco has like one of the best return policies in the whole biz. Yeah. Oh. But we are not, we've never returned anything to Costco ever. No. We've had a Costco membership for a very long time. So if for some reason something happens with this, I'm returning it or exchanging it. Amazon's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. I returns. mean, I have returned stuff at Amazon because like 90% of the stuff you buy from Amazon breaks within 30 seconds. But yep. Costco, we've never used it, but I, I plan on it someday. But not like the people who return 10-year-old mattresses and whatnot. You have it. Yeah, we got yeah. we got the option. That's why it gives you a little peace of mind. Mm-hmm. Gotta love the Costco. Camden's looking at her phone. I'm doing Wordle. Camden is doing people. Wordle. I've I'm seen trying. People in the okay. in the line. What was the name Not of that? Not with the mattress again? necessarily, Roger. but I've seen those people. Roger. I know there are those people at Costco that are just like every yes, week. there are the people that are then returning. You see, like a stained couch and all this other stuff. They have literally carts full of couch. You never know what they're going on through. Yeah, they money. You never know what they're going through. You Camden know. in real time is doing Wordle. Yep. When Roger, I need, help her out. Help her out, man. When yeah. I needed money one time, we got a Monopoly game. And we took pieces out of it. So there were pieces missing from the Monopoly game. We took it to Walmart and we said, hey, 
the pieces are missing from this Monopoly game. And they were like, oh, okay. And they gave us a brand new Monopoly game. Yes. Then we went to another Walmart and returned that brand new Monopoly game and had dinner. So, but well, a Monopoly game, I swear, it's like five bucks. It was ten dollars at the $10, time. Ten dollars. So, oh. and that way, and Taco Bell was also way cheaper then. Okay, but that was like I'm telling you the things that we went through. Like you had to go to one Walmart, <laughs> convince somebody to give you a new Monopoly game. Go to another Walmart and convince them without a receipt. Oh, well, yeah, I had the receipt now. Yes. To get the money back I don't, for it. How weird! I don't even know. Who knows? That seems. But desperate. this was also like way different. Like people don't care about stuff anymore. <laughs> yeah. No. And this is like the people, do you remember when I, I, I hated, one of the things I hated worse than anything with my job, and I never did this when I ran my own business, because the same thing with the business, we had to go buy a table and chairs from Walmart. Yeah. And we had to use the table and chairs during the show or fair or whatever we were doing. And then at the end of the show, three days later or whatever, every single time my boss was like, you have to go return this now and look like an idiot at Walmart. That is, you would be look like an idiot. It, you're How such a person. How much could it possibly be? A hundred bucks? It was like, yeah, maybe 120 bucks so, total for everything. Literally go donate it to Goodwill. Yeah. And get your charitable receipt and have an, your boss who makes plenty of money eat the freaking hundred bucks. It like it's not that hard. Do. It's super asshole. It's an thing asshole to thing to do. And we to did your it managers every single and to time. The, to the start. Can every single time. Oh, uh, five. Got it in five. We had some Wordle. We got four. I don't week. like the, I don't like the new, is it the same thing? We got the same word this time. Okay. We can't spoil it because this is going to be same day. It is? Yeah, we're going to put this out today, I think. Okay. Um, so but, there were two instances this last week on Wordle where I had different words than you guys. Yeah. And you guys looked at me like I was crazy. You were crazy. <laughs> you're not playing in the right a game. Word and you're like both staring at me like, what's wrong with you? And uh-huh. I do think my words were harder. I, I read, I read about it. Gecko was a pretty... So you're not yeah. crazy. I'm not there crazy. There were other people out there, Beyonce's and... and uh, Beyonce's? The, Beyonce's. Oh, Beyonce's. I heard Beyonce's. People that, like, for some reason, it was like their fiancé and them had different oh. words. Oh, a specific oh. story about a fiancé. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, I'm like, fiancé. Good to know. Couples. Yes, other okay. people, yes. Okay. Yeah. They freaking had different words and it strained their relationship so bad. No, yes, kidding. exactly. They but left. It, <laughs> you liar. The wordle was not that. You're no, there's no way. Was, we were supposed yeah. to get married. Mm-hmm. No, I can't trust you. And wordle right. is ruining relationships. Mm. No, not really. I didn't have peanut butter today. I just yawned. Oh my God, you no peanut butter. Peanut butter. Um, Maybe I need peanut butter. Peanut butter is her crack. Yeah, I love it. All right. Anything else new going on? Camden, you got some big stuff coming up. I do. End of the semester, end of the school year. Cam's got tests. Cam's, it's that time where Camden's kind of like, this is what she does. She does school for one week straight. That's it. Yep. (laughs) Yeah. I don't do it the whole semester and I do it for a week straight. Yeah. That's true. She like dials it in, you know, basically. She's like the person at work playing solitaire on their computer like the whole year. And then like they have their report coming in and they're like, oh crap. Now I got to do work. Yep. That's Camden. Yeah. It's my that's vibe. crazy. And that means life. I have to learn math also because I got to help her. Yep. That's when I have to do some things. Well, we don't have to. If you don't help me, I have a. I will help you. I well, congratulations. You. You're the only person you know, in this family can fail. do math. I'm the only person good at math. And the thing is, I took a lot of math, and I don't remember a damn thing. So They'll what's the point it of too. it? They changed it so they much. They didn't change math. Math can never change. No, they changed the way that you solve the they problem. They changed the way that they teach it in elementary school. But yeah. in high school, in calculus, there's only in trigonometry, no there's only one way to it's do things. It's a C. If, you, if we didn't do this, I could have a D, probably. Okay, well, Cam, that's not good. Okay. That's not good. We're Trigonometry. But is it worth mental health? Yes. yes. Okay. We sacrifice mental health in this family. Got it. It's all out the whatever. Yeah, it's out. <laughs> so, so I was trying to think the other day because I was thinking about how you guys always call me a control freak. Is that like, an, is there another word for control freak? You call yourself that a sounds control like, freak. Camden calls me this too. Is there a word for control freak that sounds less bad than control freak? It doesn't sound that bad. You don't think control... Because I was going to say you can't be controlling. Controlling would be terrible. Yeah, controlling I'm not controlling, no, right? Not controlling. I'm just a control freak. So, like, yeah. what's the difference? Um, There's a word. I can't think of it. Give me another word. You have leader. Detail-oriented. You're an authoritarian. No, am I? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not, am I? I'm not controlling. I'm just a You control have freak. leadership yeah. qualities. 
Actually, leadership yep. qualities. I That's hate what leading, my teachers though. would say. Instead of saying you're a control freak. Yeah. So if you're yeah, spinning this on a job interview, quality. I'm detail oriented and you're have tycoon. leadership qualities. Perfectionist. You're a perfectionist. But am I though? No. <laughs> when it comes to other people doing things, I'm a Dictator. perfectionist on what you guys Gatekeeper. do. Gatekeeper. <gasps> Big no. brother. Oh, these what? I'm, I'm looking for something that's better than control. Judge and jury. Dictator no, but came up. <laughs> <laughs> I think they Another word freak. for control freak. Dictator. Okay, maybe yeah, control dictator. freak is the good version then. Yeah, maybe. Anyways, Tyrant. That. Oh my god. Oppressor. These, okay, maybe I need to work on my control freak <laughs> tendencies then. These sound terrible. This I've gotten used to it. I've now. gotten used to it. Nag. <laughs> Oh no! A um, taskmaster. I okay. I can be You're a taskmaster. Task master. Okay. Because you guys would never do any tasks without me mastering everything. Yes, you are dictating what everyone does. Bully. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. I'm not calling myself a control freak anymore, and I'm not going to do it. So you guys need to figure You're out what to do without manager. me. You're a task manager. You're a tyrant. I like the task You're manager. You're a task. A tyrant. A bruiser. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. There are no good words for control freak. I'm sorry. I'm looking for like, you, you know, pretty princess cupcake eater, but it's just not there. Yes. I'm not going to control anything now, and you guys are on your own. Think that would go all right? We are doomed. Well? <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. As I said at the beginning, I'm going to start scheduling my day so it feels like I've done something. Yes. Rather than just, you know, yes. what I've been doing. That means getting up at a certain time. That okay, so what's is. the time? Okay, we had this conversation in January. That's irrelevant. I'm just three saying, in the I'm afternoon. Just getting up at a certain time is I, all that I matters. Agree. Okay. So what's and the time? After that, is there a time? It's irrelevant. So what is it? You but have to schedule something. The time I get up time. has no relevance as long as I still continue to do everything on my task. No, no, no. Because <laughs> a schedule, that's a list. That's fine. Make sure you have a task list instead a of a list. schedule. No, a schedule. A schedule has time. I need more of a schedule. A schedule has time. So time. then I'm asking, what is the wake up time? I didn't say time was rele- rele- irrelevant. The, I said the, the time that I get someone up. Someone is dodging the is question. Irrelevant. Okay, mm-hmm. let's say 8.30. Okay, that's excellent. 8.30 time. is my time. I get up, I eat my new, uh, what is it, almond milk cereal, which was absolutely which amazing. Which Wayne loved. Wayne loved it. Two thumbs up to almond milk cereal if you don't really? want to do dairy. Huh. Yeah. Probably beats water. But water, if it's cold it enough, I'm water. sure water I still would be I assume literally everything beats well, like, water. I would give Unless up you're doing like before. fruit cereal. There are people that use orange juice. I was just going to, oh, oh, Wayne, I was just going to say, I need to find this story. My sister sent me this story. It's... An orange juice company is coming out with a specific orange juice that's made to go on cereal because they heard people put orange juice on cereal. Would you try it? I can. I'm going to try this because I haven't. don't see it being horrible. This isn't this because I've had juice, big gulps of orange juice while eating my cereal and didn't gag or anything. Orange juice, you can only eat like literally just orange juice. Per se. Yeah, no. I like cannot eat anything with. I orange couldn't juice. eat orange juice with a breakfast burrito. And you also can't eat orange juice like within like two hours of waking up because your teeth are brushed and all this other stuff. There's a reason that okay, orange juice is served at every breakfast restaurant in the because world. Because eighty-year-old people love orange juice, and forty-one-year-old people obviously. Because when <laughs> I eat breakfast, I need to have orange juice. It's like a part of me. Like I need orange juice. There's something missing. He, Wayne is very much like coffee, breakfast. orange juice, you have water. At breakfast, and you eat it, and then you eat orange juice, and you do this. He no, he's very. I'm a little like rain that. man when it comes to certain things. No, right? not that. Just you're very habitual about. The I gotta have orange eat. juice with my breakfast. Gotta have orange mm. juice. Okay. Don't. It have just breakfast. works. It no. flows. Coffee is breakfast. Down with breakfast. Coffee. Black coffee only. I said oh. coffee. Hey. And we orange can be juice. inclusive, okay? No. We can- <laughs> Don't break the fast. Black coffee only. I used to hate that because I would go to the black? IHOP or whatever, Denny's, whatever had that special, and they'd be like, get a free coffee or orange juice. What do you want? And I'm like, ah, damn it. I need both. What is that called? Give me the free what coffee. Is that Wait, which one's more expensive? You know what I mean? Give me yes. the free orange juice because that's always like $4 and then I'll get to drink the coffee. Uh, Wayne the coffee. loves orange juice. Good thing you just got Orange some juice more. is more expensive I don't love coffee. orange juice, yeah. what? but I like it very much. I like it very much. But I don't much. drink it as much well, as you would think that if I liked it that much. Just kidding, just kidding. Okay, so Wayne, will you try the cereal, specific orange juice for cereal? I'll try it tomorrow. We'll taste test. If it does come out, you get the specific orange juice for cereal, you get the orange juice that you currently have kirkland orange juice okay from costco and then you'll see which is better. i'll try it tomorrow 
Well, I mean, I don't know if this stuff no, is No, when out, it comes. But, but the you first can part try. of my sketch, 8.30, 8.41, drinking orange juice and cereal. So it takes you 11 cereal. minutes is the face washing, the peeing, the teeth brushing. Yeah. But then you cannot eat orange juice. You cannot drink orange I'm, juice at probably, 8.41. I'm probably you know? going to be around 9 o'clock. So 30 minutes. So 30 minutes, I brush my teeth. I, wa- you, I don't wash my Oh, You mean like throwing water on my face? I mean, you're supposed to wash morning no, I just throw water on my face. Like we talked about that skincare routine. I too late. It's too late. Um, <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. I don't need you. to exfoliate. But you don't need to exfoliate. You need a gentle skin cleanser. A gentle skin then cleanser. Then I'm going to start writing jokes and finding okay. jokes and writing jokes. Spend time to put that to the side so okay. it's all prepared and ready. Then I'm going so to. So 9 to 10 <laughs> jokes. Yeah. 10 to Work 11. on beats. Beats and hmm. music. The lyrics they come to me all the time. It's just, eleven to twelve. The main thing is the music. Looking myself in the mirror with my long lustrous hair and my new beanie. That's what Wayne does. Style my beanie. Hey, what? I said then you have to schedule the time to look at yourself in the mirror and style your new beanies. Yeah, I guess I'm my new beanie. And Wayne got some beanies and he looks pretty hip. He looks very cool. Uh, I'm just keeping the hair out of my face. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like it drives me crazy. I don't know how people with long hair do it. And your hair is not even chin length now. It's, it's poked me in the eye several times. Oh no! Dangerous. Yeah, it's starting to curl. Come with a warning label. <laughs> Into the eye. Oh, that's the bangs. <clears throat> Karen, yeah. I don't have that's bangs. no good. I don't want curl bangs. If I'm getting curl bangs, they're going the bye bye. Babe, we got a curl. We got it before. You can't go bye bye, but we do need to do the curly mop <laughs> top front. T- TikTok bang thing going on. Yeah. You know, let's yeah, get Cam, out the little thing. Cam's going to have to oh, do the curl. Oh, I am so curling iron. Mom head. Hair. Oh, my God. <laughs> what am I doing? What are you doing? What are tomorrow. we even doing? Perm. Shaving it off tomorrow. Dad with a perm. You are not cutting it. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I wouldn't want to be a control freak. <laughs> what did you just say? Your Especially just, by your parents, you can be however you want. She's not a tyrant. You, you are want. not cutting it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a dictator. You are not no, cutting your hair. No, I mean, you, I literally, I've always said this, and you've always said this, too. You can do whatever with your looks. I don't really care. It's your your body, yourself. I like it. It's starting to but grow. But I do it's, love it. It is literally me. growing on me. Yes, growing everywhere, Dad. Dad jokes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's it. That was an interesting intro. I don't even know. I know no other whatever is rambling. No. This is too no, late in the day. I thought we were finished. Yeah, feels like we should be. Everyone yeah. listening is like, wait, this isn't over yet. Help. Uh, Coming from such highs, I feel like it's not a consistent. So if you, we were like on the IMDb rating and then you'd have like a 10 episode and then you have a three episode where everyone's like, skip it, skip it. When on the rewatch, you always skip this episode. You know, have you ever liked those shows that you're rewatching? Yeah. There's always the episodes you skip. You can always skip the mm. ones where the creators, right? We talked about that. Skip those. Yeah. Skip the Army episode on Boy Meets World. And the Army episode on Say by the Bell. The ROTC episode. I like the ROTC episode, weirdo ROTC. It's ROTC. He didn't like that. I called it ROTC ROTC. Because um, nobody does that. Yes, yeah. they do. You are so low. Everyone calls it. The right. Razzie? Yep. No, they don't. Yes, they do. And I I'm doing a survey. Everyone except for Razzie calls it Razzie. That's right. That's why I was so confused when you said it. I thought you were saying Roxy. Razzie. The Razzie? R-O-T-C. Okay, so Razzie. I don't even know. This is our theme for the week. It's an acronym. Deal with it. Not Razzie. Not the theme for the week. We literally just said on Instagram, name a celebrity, name somebody. Yep. And we're just going to try to... Talk about each one. Do this some sort is, of story. Do a word association. Uh, do whatever. Anything. This is whose line is it anyway? Celebrity edition. I don't want to be funny. You, do you have to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> don't you don't have any problem me. there, babe. Trust me. No. Funny. Looking. I think that you're the funniest person in this house. Me. We've already established this. You're the funniest person <laughs> in this house. Not when people say you have to do something. I don't want to do it. Well, yeah. That's the fun part of it. Just because you improv. said be funny, I'm you not You don't have be to be funny. funny. So if I'm not funny, you anyway, have to improv. It can be dramatic improv. This is boycotting funny. I'm not boycotting I'm humor for this I podcast. Tell a little story, a little... Whose line is it anyway? Boycotting <laughs> humor edition. for this podcast because yes. we don't listen to the man. I'm going to start talking like I'm on NPR. We don't listen to... <laughs> the man is trying to get us down. Make us feel <laughs> funny. <laughs> Okay, Don't okay, let whoa, the whoa, man whoa. get you down. <laughs> Don't let the man get you whoa. down. Whoa. Wayne you, Butler. You go ahead whoa. and I'm going to find mine. Whoa. Wayne Butler has a schedule. We're doing this. 
Eat Little Debbie's Tyler from Joseph. 12 30 to 1 p.m. Yep. Um, Tyler Joseph, who dad? You, one can 21 live off of Pilots. 21 Pilots. Okay. Yep. Man, 21 Pilots. Do you remember when they were so freaking popular? Yes. What are they still? Yeah. They're, they're still they, definitely they're still popular. popular? No, yeah. But not as popular mm-hmm. as they were when they first came. At least not to like they're not the super fans. You know what I mean? I don't listen to the radio. I liked a few of their songs. What are they? Stressed sing? out. You know that one. Oh right? my god. Dun, dun, dun. You like that era? Wait, are they the seven years old <laughs> you people? Like blurry face era. Are they the seven years old? Or is that the other one? Wasn't that it? Stressed out. When I was seven years old, my no, that's mama not told Twenty One Pilots. Oh, never mind. Is that Magic Dragons? <laughs> no, that's not Magic okay. Dragons. Sad. Okay. Who sings that one? That's a solo guy. He's oh. by himself. Well then, sad. Or Lucas Graham or something. Oh my god, is it actually a person named Lucas Graham? I think. Oh my god, Camden. That's Lucas Graham. I can picture Camden on Musically. This is back in the Musically days, going and finding that um, record. No, Lucas Sing King Graham. Karaoke. Oh, Sing King Karaoke. Remember, it always oh said the artist god. name. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> I used to do 2010 karaoke? Sing King Karaoke. That is awesome. so Camden's freaking generation Sing was King it? Karaoke. Was it? I don't know if it was him, though. If it's not, I'm going to look stupid. Okay, Tyler Joseph. This guy's got two first names. What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, you freaking It is. Dude. His name's Lucas Graham. That guy also has two first names. Lucas, Lucas Graham. That's why I mixed them up. <laughs> it's a red flag if you have two I really names. It is. It is. It's a red flag. I don't think I ever Gabe dated and I had anyone this conversation. with two first names. We both names. agree. We're, it's bad. Not good. Not going to do it. Yeah. No. Or the people that have... The last name is the first name. Oh. Like the people named Smith. You, don't go for anyone named Smith. I know those people are trouble. If they had a Brown. No one's named Brown. <laughs> Jones. <laughs> Woods. Okay, just only Smith people. Walker. Anyone named Walker. Wilson. Oh my God. Wilson. John. Gray. Yes, Gray. No, Gr- Grayson. Well, just anyone with a son. No sons. No one with a son. Mm-mm. I have no idea what's going on. Anyways, we just said Tyler Joseph is a red sign. <laughs> we just, red flag that he has two, two first names. Alienated all, everyone. With yes, and then we offended everyone. <laughs> okay, that's all I know about him. Okay. Uh, I read fanfic about him in seventh grade. So, Who was he fanfic up with? His friend, the other guy. The other guy in the band. Feel bad. By no. proximity, so you just get fanfics by the people that are in proximity to you? That's his trouble. I don't like this. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? I'm up. Hillary Wayne, Duff. Wayne, do you think someone wrote fanfic about you? What? Exactly. Okay, Hillary Duff. Hmm. Is that, that's Lizzie <laughs> McGuire? <laughs> the silence. I'm sorry, Hillary That's Duff. Lizzie McGuire. Liz McGuire, most recently, she guest she starred was in the on Bachelor. one episode of The Bachelor. The Bachelor. And the, <laughs> the girls on The Bachelor were more excited to see Hillary Duff than they were about the actual Bachelor. As they should be. Yes, as any. I would be more as excited anyone. about a rock. Yeah, I would. Seven day old. If one of those fried country chicken, singers came. About. I'd be like, oh, yes. yeah, cool. What's your music? Let's, yes. let's go on a date instead of this. I, she's guy. much so um, bigger than her other sister, Haley Duff, who I only remember from Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite and mm-hmm. Hallmark movies. And some horror movies. She's in Hallmark Which movies be- and Lifetime movies. She, and, she's in oh, Lifetime and movies. Types of obviously, horror movies and Hallmark movies and Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah. A Hillary summer. Duff recently posed nude on the cover of some magazine. Show off her post baby bod. Cool. I Who did? Guess. What? For her. Hillary Duff. Hillary it's not Duff. like a full frontal or anything. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. Damn. You're like, dang, I it won't look it up now. Let me just um. go ahead and check my email real quick. Email. <laughs> He's on the Hillary Duff. He follows the Hillary Duff hashtag. <laughs> Hillary Duff nude hashtag. Wow. Hillary Duff nude. Oh my god, finally Link. something showed up. Link. Finally something showed up for this. Spam. Um. Don't make sure it doesn't go to spam, babe. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, Hillary Dream. I, I have nothing. Who? Dream. Dream SMP. Dream. Minecraft. Dream, dream, dream. We're all dream. Was that your okay. saying the song from Shark Boy? Why do we both think that? I don't know because we don't know who this dream is. We're all oh. dream. SMP is a S- What does SMP stand Scream? for? Survival multiplayer? No, it doesn't. I think. 
What? So he Dang. plays what? You, yes, um, he plays uh, UHC's uh, Minecraft stuff? What is it? SM- Dream SMP. Do you know who this is? SMP no. means sexual marketplace. That's SMP? not right. That's not right. Okay, suck remind my... me not to put that behind my name. It means suck my P. This what? Is not... Oh, it does. Yeah, it means survival multiplayer. Oh Minecraft. my god, Camden, the freaking third one you got to? Yep. What other ones were you... This is on... This is on Urban Dictionary. Oh, okay. okay, so he's a Minecrafter. Was he like a heyday Minecrafter? Is he a current Minecrafter? Or is he still... He's like, a current... Mi- Listen, I have nothing against the people themselves. I actually watched a video of George Not Found one day, and he's like colorblind, and it was wholesome because he wore colorblind glasses in Minecraft. I'm like, that's cute. But every single Dream SMP stand I've met is like a horrible person. Oh, so, so. the fandom is ruining it for you. Horrible. And, like, I don't know. I don't feel know like they're why. just the modern-day fandom of the Dan and Phil fandom, though, but... This is... Well, this is a celebrity that good. we have no clue. I don't just know, like when yeah. people will mention Wayne Butler, yeah. except, like, 25 tiers That's like what I said, mm-hmm. Camden, Clark Cable. Like, like I don't... Mm-hmm. I don't... Um, Clark Cable? No, well, Dream's Dream, very big. Anyone cool in my generation Dream. knows him and probably hates the fan base, too. I but, wouldn't be able to pick Dream out of a lineup of... 25 year old guys or whatever he is oh no i don't know what anyone looks like i don't know how well, old this is what i said we don't watch sports i know he's the guy with the yes. smiley face and i always skin. see these like sports figures like let's say this really famous quarterback is serving canes in the drive-thru and if i went through the drive-thru and they were recording me for my reaction i would just be like thank you Good. did yep. you get the extra sauce yeah i know <laughs> they'd be like, like hey, hey can he you didn't like, even can acknowledge me turn Can't off that you camera you i do not consent to this i do not consent to being filmed i have no idea who these people are uh, social media people yeah i don't how dare you film me i'll take canes from like chevy chase oh, i'll yeah. take canes from anyone i don't freaking care but i don't <laughs> care who's serving it to me no, i you just wouldn't. literally don't no you wouldn't Donald do Trump mean? was giving canes. You would be like, nah. Mm, nah. I don't know where those tiny hands have been. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Olivia Rodrigo. Stan. Love her. You stan Olivia don't, Rodrigo now? I don't listen to her music, but her. Oh, you like her, but not. She's great. Camden I just was grown. Like Camden went through the phase where she just groaned whenever that driver's license song came on. You hated it so no, much. No, I still don't like driver's license. Who is it? Who's I it? hate Olivia that Rodrigo? kind of music. Oh, I don't know. I think I just license last I don't want to say this, and I, I don't know if it's stereotypy, but I, I think all girl pop and boy pop sounds the exact freaking same. It, Did I sound like it? Did I do it? I don't remember know. whenever. I remember didn't. when you would start up live streams on like your anything TikTok or whatever, and the first thing anyone came in and they said, "Play Driver's License" by Olivia Rodrigo, <laughs> and that's why I wanted every to single know one. It was like "Play Driver's License" exist anymore. You were like, no. 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 Your music taste sucks. Weezer is pwned. Weezer. <laughs> Weezer stands. Ron um, Jeremy. Uh, is this the people that you got? Ron Jeremy? Yeah. He's like in prison now, right? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, he did something Ooh. really bad. I heard, I heard that he has in a really big house. Yes, I'm sure. He's and he was on porn, like a so. celebrity Big that? Brother too. He's a porn star, Ex-porn like from star. the old, and now he's like all. The last picture I saw of him was when he was like on trial for something. He was looked really bad. He had his mask on. It was during the pandemic. I don't know what he did. I think he's in prison now. He's yeah. I don't know if he's in prison yet, but but he's on, he did something. I don't really keep up. I'm not following the Ron Jeremy <clears throat> hashtag, so I don't know. These are the <laughs> difference between there's two like scopes: Ron Jeremy and Olivia Rodrigo. Tyler Oakley. He He's an Tyler 80s porn star. Still alive? I, I, I watched him on Amazing Race. He was on Miranda Sings Who? a lot. Tyler Oakley. I watched. Uh, I was watching all like seasons him. of Amazing Race, and I really liked him and his partner. Yeah. They were really good. I don't know enough about him, but he seems like a nice guy. I like he him. I don't know. Cool. Is, is he still active? I've on seen his stuff? book at Tyler. Probably. I, don't know. I, don't know. I, I remember I watched him with Is Amanda he a YouTuber? S- with yes. Miranda Sings. He was a YouTuber type person. Yeah. Storytime YouTuber? or I have no idea. I only watched him with his Miranda Sings claps. I don't even he know. Was but I saw him on Amazing funny. Race. He was amazing. I don't think he won. But hmm. he was still good. <laughs> good for him. He was very good at the Amazing Race. Billy Corgan. Now Bald. this, Cam, Billy Corgan is the lead singer of the Smashing Pumpkins. She Pumpkin. knows this. 
I didn't. She didn't know that. She you didn't at me know like that? She didn't know. Uh, I didn't she know. She might know the Smashing gosh, Pumpkins. I, I she just looked know at Billy Camden. Corgan. I was thinking of Billy Corgan. I just looked at Camden. I pictured Camden bald. She kind of looked like Billy Corgan. Wait, what? Camden was bald. <laughs> <laughs> She kind of looked like Billy Corgan. Wow! Yeah, I like just like Billy looked. Billy Corgan, I was right. saying Billy Corgan in my head. I was picturing him. Then I looked at Camden, and she has her hair kind of tucked behind Who her ears is this man? with the um, headband on. So it kind of looks like her hair is back. I'm like, oh my god, Billy Corgan. That's look at Billy Corgan in like the '90s. Oh yeah, no, that's I cool. See it. Let me see. Show me a picture, Wait, like from oh the my. good old like. Oh my gosh! Remember that Smashing Pumpkins double disc CD? Bald now. Yeah, with 19 what? The night was it the one from nineteen seventy nine? It was like tonight and something else. But oh my gosh, I I could listen to that right now. I really could. Camden's looking. Let's no. morph your faces together. We'll face swap Billy Corgan's face onto your face. No. No. Let me see. Norman's here. A, I thought I saw. Melon Charlie and the Infinite Sadness. Yeah, that was a double disc, right? This man, Camden goes. Yeah, but he was bald for the most part in he, the. He in the mid '90s, mid to late '90s, bald. he's bald. Oh no, that's now. But okay, go find a picture. <laughs> he, she showed me a picture of him currently. I guess it kind of looks like. How me. dare you? So maybe it would. How look like dare you? you? Yeah, see, right? Cannon kind of looks like Billy Corgan. <laughs> I don't know. Oh well, we'll find yeah. another picture, anyways. That's all I know about him, but I do enjoy it. Good. But the point movie. is that Billy Corgan is amazing, and the Smashing Pumpkins in the '90s like are Smashing freaking fantastic. Pumpkins. Yes, every song just amazing. I like, love the big deals Smashing Pumpkins when like fans. those instrumental bits come on, you know, and the bum bum bum, ding ding. Yeah, and he had an amazing voice and very good yeah. at screaming and all that. So. Yeah, I didn't good like listen to Smashing Pumpkins as much Go as Billy. others. As much as Weezer, which Weezer, oh, yeah. I know, it's a different Rivers vibe. Though. Cuomo, it's I would a different know. Vibe. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. Um, I don't know. These you don't know who these people, people are? Say one. Uh, Steven Tyler. Okay, that's the lead singer of Aerosmith. I don't like Aerosmith. Steven Tyler? I like the I'm old. I'm going to be uh, straight. You don't, don't like it all? Even like the old don't. school, like Dream On? Like, give give me a song. I'll react to it, right? Okay, so Crying was like. What's it, what, give me a song. Crying. Crying. That was like a very 90s anthem, and it had Liv Tyler and Alicia Silverstone right in the video, didn't it? Yeah. Um, His daughter and Alicia Silverstone were like in a lot of the yeah. videos in, in that time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and, but Aerosmith was great. Are you yeah. kidding me? All the way from the seventies one, the Eminem music. You have music. to think about also Dream. Wayne's World too. Wayne's so World. Doesn't want to get isn't Aerosmith playing it is a uh, Wayne Palooza or whatever it is. Or the second Wayne one, Stock. Yeah. I mean Wayne Stock. Yeah. Wayne Stock. We should do that. Yeah. This just reminds. I don't me know. Classic. Of like seventh grade. Or it's whatever. like classic rock, kind of. Right? Yeah. There's a lot of. I don't they've been like around forever. So classic, the classic rock. But... I, I hate it how when I say I don't like classic rock, people are like because you're young. I like old music. I just don't like classic rock. I mean, you like Fleetwood Mac. I was you waiting. Would, Max, classic rock. Yes. I was at the Maybe airport. Maybe girl classic rock. I don't like guy classic <laughs> yeah, rock. Like, I was yeah, at the exactly. airport here in Las Vegas waiting for my Uber. And Steven Tyler was also waiting for his Uber. And I remember getting off the plane and walking through the airport and a big group of people and Steven Tyler, like, stop, leave, you know, get out of the oh way. Oh, my people gosh, he's like, still, like, you that know, he big was, that people get Steven out of the Tyler is really popular. I mean, come on. He's the lead singer of Aerosmith. But he was waiting for his Uber and nobody was around so him. Offended. There were zero people around him. Like, there was five bodyguards surrounding him at the airport. He got to his Uber and he was like, all right, see you later. You're on your own now, dude. You know, <laughs> which is on the second floor, you know, of the airport. Yeah. And he's just by himself yelling at his car. Bro, I, I guess know, it man. wasn't his Uber. If I was trying to walk by someone in this group of security guards, I was like, But I didn't say anything or girl. try to take a picture or anything. You're always like, Dang. try to take a picture if I'm like, surrounded by some, like, if I'm by well, a Well, if there's someone cool, but maybe I'm not like, Steven uh, Tyler. I probably wouldn't care uh, if you had a picture of Steven Tyler. All this. Also, Steven no. Colbert, get a freaking picture of him. Not Elvis. Steven Tyler. Elvis. This is Elvis. Elvis is your thing. Yep. We could have been married by an Elvis impersonator. We got married in Vegas, but yep, we that's didn't. True. Mid, I don't know. Am I the only Classic one here rock? that's been to Graceland? Yes. I lived in Tennessee. We went to Graceland. We went to his grave. Went to the, He had pink everything, pink Cadillac. Big yeah. old lion chandelier. That's Lots of fun icon. stuff. 
Wayne always talks about Elvis when you make a peanut. You always make like a peanut butter sandwich and you're like, I should do an Elvis. Yeah. And then that's peanut butter and banana. His favorite sandwich was fried peanut butter and banana. I've never tried it. It's like fried like a grilled yeah. cheese. You actually like fry it. Someone's Sounds like, good. the best thing ever. You, you like say do. that every time you make a peanut butter sandwich. Yeah. But you never make that. No. So maybe someday you'll try the Elvis. One time, uh, yeah. I'll try that with my orange juice and cereal. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I can't Norman's that sitting bad. here. <gasps> Norman says hi. Norman is being uh, lovey, which is, you know. Which is very It's a rare thing. Kind of weird. It's a rare thing. (laughs) He just woke up from his nap. He apologizes for brutal, you know, being so brutal to all the cats. Yeah. Freaking out. Is this? The second time I've ever seen Norman sit on my wife's lap. No, no. He thought thought better of it. He said, okay. Next, next one. Sorry, I got distracted by a cat. But Elvis is the king. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna go. I love my Elvis. Way I'm not like we, Jesse. Yeah, and we, who I kind of skip Blue Christmas too on the Christmas albums. I kind of skip Blue Christmas. Blue Christmas is Elvis. Blue oh, that makes Christmas me dislike him more. Without. I don't. I hate Blue Christmas. Uh oh. I Un- hate it. Uncle Jesse was obsessed with yes, Elvis. Yes, that's one of the things. F tier. Everything I know Blue about Christmas, Elvis, I know from Full House. I don't know Jesse. if old me was you know naive. Blue Blue Christmas F tier. F tier. No, my dad was like, Is that my, what I my said? real dad yeah, loved like, Elvis. And he kind of looked like Elvis when he was really young. Really? Yeah, I have young pictures of my dad. He'd be like, oh, they do look alike. And then my mom always says that. And then he was really, really liked Elvis a lot. That's why we would go to Elvis. Oh, because people told him he looked stuff. like Elvis. So then he had to go walk exactly. around places where people would be like, hey, you look like Elvis, man. Exactly. Oh, my God. Elvis Presley No, no, he didn't look like, like Elvis at that time. Oh, as he like, looked like Elvis. When he was like, like 18, later. he looked like Elvis. Was Elvis gay? No. Oh, no. Elvis mm-hmm. was married to Priscilla, right? Priscilla yeah. Presley, mm-hmm. who was in the Naked Gun movies. And his daughter is... Uh, Lisa Marie Presley. Lisa Marie Presley, who was married to Michael Jackson. For a bit. That's cool. Yeah. Weird. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think so as a person... That was, was interesting, because cool. it was the king of pop. he got, like, cool style He had stuff. very cool style. And yeah, it was I like very, his style. Like, it was iconic. the king of pop married yeah, to the king like of rock. Yeah, I like his iconicness. Daughter. And also, like, like it was very... Vibe. I feel like... I think it was kind of, if I remember correctly, controversial, like the way he moved his hips and pelvis really on stage, you know, like in terms Elvis? of, yeah. Oh, they, nobody cared about stuff like that. Nobody cared? Uh-uh. I think they did care back then. I think it was very kind of like, you know. Absolutely no idea who this is. Okay, who is it? Lewis Hamilton. Okay, this is the guy everyone is obsessed with. I don't know who he is, but I read about him every freaking day. He's a... F1 racer. Oh, no. Is like he a the... race car driver. What's his name? Lewis Hamilton. Is he good looking or something? I, I think so. And people are like, you know, watch this. You know, people are obsessed. Obsessed. I don't know anything about it. All I know is they're obsessed. Women are obsessed. Men are obsessed. Everyone is obsessed. Lewis okay. Hamilton? Show cam a pic. We're not, we don't follow the racing. It's not like the NASCAR. It's like the other cars. The super, super past ones mm. <laughs> I mean he's attractive so better than Wayne like just showed us a picture bachelor people so yeah. I don't know I never heard of him before you know people are I don't watch him. NASCAR he's not NASCAR or F1, racing I think what kind Same of racing he is a British race car driver he's British, British. they he's got British. that right there bam yeah. British and then... British <laughs> and he wins a lot too so can't he wait to Bridger- see him on Love Island when he's retired They've talked. He's not gonna go on Love Island when he retires. He's he's got enough money. You know, he needs to go on Love Island for the but for the clout. He could. I mean, just, he's gonna pull chicks. If he was a cool Love person, Island. though, you know, he'd do it for the funniest. Do it for the do, do it for the laws. Okay. Who else we got? Um, Mike Patton. I don't know who that is. Got Skip. him. Mike who? Hold on, I'm looking. Patton. It up. He's being funny. Mike Patton. I don't know who that is. Mike Patton, Patton Oswalt is an I knew Patton Oswalt nothing. Yeah. thing. Okay. Really. Maybe that's this person's name. The Dude, underrated shout out to you. singer. He also did the infected voices in Left for Dead too. That's cool. Okay, um, he sounds awesome. Don't Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Oh. Robin Williams. Favorite Robin Williams. Robin, what's your favorite Robin Williams movie? Mrs. Doubtfire, probably. That's Aladdin. Hard. You just said your favorite movie was Aladdin. Okay. I know, but like my favorite, favorite Robin, Robin Williams. Williams. I love movie? Mrs. Doubtfire. It's like very nice. More than like Jumanji? Than the old Jumanji? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I wasn't. You don't like the old. You I like the new like one super, better. Yeah, I wasn't super old. Jimmy happy Duke. feet. He did happy feet. Who did happy feet? And voice of someone. Come on, Mrs. Doubtfire is so good. Yeah, but Mrs. You Doubtfire also like better. Hook, right? Mrs. Doubtfire. I've never seen Hook in my life. Is up there. Oh my god, that one creepy one, one hour photo. That's uh, freaking scary. That's not one of my favorites. No, that's not. But that's a scary one. Aladdin. Yeah, one what are we doing? Aladdin's Aladdin. Aladdin's so good. Who was he in Aladdin? The, the bird genie. Cage. The bird cage. What? Why didn't I know this? I don't know. I didn't know how the mom. So I don't know movie stuff, even though that said be. Yeah, Cam don't watch movies. Mm-hmm. Next um, up. Yeah, it's probably going to be Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah. Warren Zaders. Don't know. Warren. Oh, looking it up. Cam. What? Look up every single one. I was genuinely sad when he died. I was too, and it. Like Country. He, next. When people. It sucks when. <laughs> Country. Gets next. Country. Oh, Country Star. Corey Taylor. Sounds familiar. Don't know who? That who? Is Sounds who? really familiar. Corey Taylor. I like Corey Taylor. Who is it? Sounds He's familiar. the lead singer of Slipknot. Oh. And also, mm-hmm. uh, he has his own band. What's it called? Uh, Stone Sour. He's Sour. good. He's got a really good voice. He's also a big horror buff. And, and he's always someone in, in high movies, school, so this movies. is back in the 90s, drove a car to school that was like a total beat up car. And they had like the Slipknot, whatever sign, spray painted on the side of their beat up junker. He's also a cool ginger. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, Gingers unite. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> someone had a Slipknot thing, per- and it didn't really fit in our our small town. But didn't work, huh? I mean, Over in there that was small that town group. there. Like, oh, Stone Sour. That's right. He's, he's good. He's good. He's also a big horror buff, though. So, like oh, all okay. the horror so documentaries I watch. Yeah. He gives feedback, you know, in the movies. Who yeah. else you got? I don't like Slipknot. He doesn't like Slipknot. Shaq. I mean, Shaq. Blue Shaquille Chips. O'Neal. I watched him in Blue Chips. Blue Chips. I saw that at the movie theater. Did you really? Yeah, I saw Blue Chips at the movie theater with Nick Nolte. And I, I don't was... even remember a damn thing about it, but I know Nick Nolte was in it. Yes, and, and Shaq. Uh, Shaq played for the Orlando Magic, right? Yes. And... Now he plays for what, the Lakers? Shaq? Yeah. Shaq still plays? No, Shaq don't play anymore. Shaq doesn't play anymore? He's retired? Shaq is so old. This is how much I know about sports. Shaq has not been playing for a very long time. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, one thing that I really distinctly remember from Shaq, and this is not good, is the movie Kazam, where he <laughs> played a genie. Oh. And no, actually it... beat Will Smith okay. in one of the craziest genies I've ever seen. Uh, he was also notoriously bad at free throws. That's what Shaq, I feel like, was known for, at least in my mind. I remember Shaq being so bad at free throws yeah. that if it came down to the wire, they were always sh- uh, fouling Shaq. They made fun because of him. Because then... Shaq would have to shoot the free. He was like 50 50 <laughs> on the free throw line. Really? I swear. I don't know. Like, for some reason, I remember that. I didn't watch a lot of basketball. But he was good, though, obviously. Yes. At he layups. Was huge. He's huge. Or is it because he's so damn tall, he can block everything. Yeah. He, he was just huge. You can, like, literally, he can lift his hand up and just put it in the basket. Huh. I remember Shaq in the 90s was, yes. like, way different. He was, very he was like, in the he was a video game. A video game called Shaq Fu. <laughs> I played that game. He had a, a album, and he had yes. music. He and was it, everywhere. He had it all, man. He was everywhere. He had it all. Camden's looking up some. I couldn't afford Jordans Betty when White. I was growing up, so I had Shaquille O'Neal's. Ah. And everybody had Jordans, and I had Shaquille O'Neal's in my starter Betty jacket. Betty White. She was, she, was Gram, she was Grammy Norma, and she is Yoshi and Ponyo. Really? Oh, Betty White. She's a nice old lady in Ponyo. Betty White. And it sounded like she was a pioneer for like a lot of things, like... People said she couldn't have, like, you know, a black person on her show, and she mm. did. But anyway, you know, like, things were like, back in the That's variety good. show days. Yeah. She was an amazing person. She didn't make it to 100, but. Grammy she was just, Norma. She couldn't take the but... fact that she couldn't do Legos anymore. <laughs> to 99? You're like, no. Still does, my, is still this really my favorite. Does it say 99 joke? on there? It does, yeah. Go get it. It says 99 on the box. What the heck? You this cannot do Legos them. anymore after 99 years old. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to take them all away from you, babe. They're not safe. I am not 99 Legos. on your 100th birthday. I'm yoinking all your Legos. My grandmother, my, my grandparents uh, mm. on my dad's side growing up, I remember Golden Girls, Wheel of Fortune, and Arsenio Hall more than anything. Yes. It's always Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Old, Jeopardy. Always freaking well. No, it's not Jeopardy. 
Jeopardy's just beyond. It's a wheel. But it was definitely and Wheel of Fortune. also Wheel of Fortune and Price is Right. Price is Right in the, the morning. Right. Wheel of Fortune at night. Grammy Norma. And our senior, huh? From the Lorax. Oh. And the girl from Ponyo. Camden's Camden's. I like so Yoshi so much. This. Yoshi's the Our cutest old lady in awesome. Ponyo. Not the mean one. That's good, then. She's Someone nice. said Wayne Butler. Famous And Camden ish. Butler. Yeah, Camden, they did. okay, my thoughts on Wayne Butler. Overrated. <laughs> be, ca- hey, be careful. <laughs> be careful. What are you going to do? Because, you know, I might sleep on the couch. Because so. <laughs> I might. I just might. I, and I might, might, might drive over to a fast food restaurant and sit there I for a few hours and think Foxes about my Twinkies. decisions while uh, eating a Big Mac. Think Cameron about Butler, she's got big things coming, this girl. She's got a, you know, bright future ahead of her. Thank you. Thank Camden you. is going to be huge. Wayne and I are going to be living in a van on her driveway. And that's my dream. <laughs> so, I mean, hell yeah. yeah. That sounds good to me. You know, that's crazy. That's your dream. That, that, <laughs> that, that I understand that dream now. I may call Do me you? old or whatever, but I love it. I'm more into the whole food everywhere thing. He likes it. So I'm he, sorry. Your dream or eating be, stuff. Right? My dream is literally to drive out in the middle of nowhere where no one is. There's no food. Just pack my little fridge full of food and, you know, make a fire and do all this other You're stuff. The, and your dream wild, is to then. park in a Walmart parking spot and then drive to the Burger King for breakfast and then drive to the whatever no, for lunch. And, and then, in the Walmart parking lot. That's where people park their vans. The no, you, you. Yeah, I know. And there's not a Winnebago, though. It's Sprinter van. Yeah, I know. And we're going to go to the woods and have lake views. Yes, but where are you getting your fast food then? But we're also going to go to food trucks and like weird food places, like those oh, cafes yeah. on, that on have the road like... the trip between places. I'm not talking oh, about yeah. okay. freaking Burger King. Okay, okay. I'm talking about Luann's Pancakes. I've never even heard of it before. I just made it up. Luann's that Pancakes. That sounds delicious. Yeah, he's going to stop at every pancake house. I'll stop <laughs> at every pastrami house. Misha Collins. Misha Collins had just a scandal, really not a scandal, um, but like something he was in the news where people thought he came out as bi, but he didn't actually come out as bi. Really? Yeah. You didn't hear this story? Cass. So, Wait, like, he what? Was I a thought question- he was. No, he was answering a question at like their Comic Con or something, and it was like. They always try to twist it. You know, what do you think of, or something, he, someone asked a question about being bisexual, but also then asked a question about being, mm. it was like socially anxious or having anxiety, I can't remember. Oh. Yeah. And then he said something about both. Oh. And then he then had to walk back those statements. I didn't intend it to be that way, no. but oh. I'm definitely an ally and a supporter. Oh. But I, I'm not bisexual, so. That's cool. Wait, why is that controversial? But then, reading these stories, his wife... And I think his wife wrote a book like 10 years ago about navigating threesomes. Like, I guess he and his wife do a lot of threesomes. And oh, she wrote a whole book on goodness. like how to. Where would do one it. get this book? Asking for a friend. If the second that book shows up, I'm going to be like, eh, I mean, a minute. I'm not involved in this. Yeah, not me. I don't know who, but not me. <laughs> not me. Not me. <laughs> navigating threesomes without your wife. Navigating um, threesomes, but like how to find two other people. Okay, but other than that, for the listeners that don't know, he's the cast next, from freaking Supernatural. The next book that comes is Navigating Divorce. And cast Navigating is awesome. Divorce. Yes, it's cast from Supernatural. Yeah. Wayne dressed up as cast one year. Um, we have an angel blade. That's right. Cast is best. Yes. He's not Dean or anything, but he's good, I guess. You like Dean? Dean Stan over here? <laughs> I mean, Dean's cool. He, he dies Next a one. lot. <laughs> Dean She's Sam? Lot. Scarlett Johansson. Scar Jo. Uh, who is she? She's someone. She is black. Mm. Camden doesn't know anybody about it. She's Black Widow. Black Widow. Oh, mm-hmm. I don't know Marvel, that's why. She's not, she used she to was be not even close to anybody in the Marvel. girl with the black... Um, suit and the yeah red, red hair. hair yes yeah 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 okay she was yeah, you said I should be her yes isn't that mm-hmm. weird you should get out Camden does have that black cat oh thing. didn't I dress as her yeah oh my god I didn't even <laughs> um she I was married to Ryan Reynolds for a hot minute remember really yeah remember oh uh, maybe she I just married? remember her being in that Justin Timberlake music video come around what comes around goes around oh I don't even know <laughs> and, then, uh, and she was in movies yeah. She, yep. Everyone, like, in the, I feel like the early 2000s, she was literally deemed the most beautiful woman yeah. out there. Yeah. She's, yeah. yeah. Well, she is beautiful. Really pretty. I mean, yeah, she is beautiful. Wasn't she in Ghosts in the Shell or one of those? Yeah. 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 Hello. I, oh. I see Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> Jerry, a, a, 
Uh, What's the deal with podcasts? <laughs> Everybody uh, has one. Our niece's new kitten is literally named after Jerry, I think. Jerry's Wait, is it home. actually? When well, did you I get mean, this we call name? him Jerry. Yeah, His but... name is Jerry. We call him Jerry. We call him Little Jerry. Who's Jerry? The cat, Jerry. Where? The kitten. Oh, Gerald? Yes, Gerald, but he goes by Jerry. Jerry. He goes by Jerry. They're getting, like they got cats. another kitten, and they're trying to. My sister's trying to get it to name her uh, Elaine. It's gonna be Jerry and Elaine. No, I that'd like that. Yeah, that'd be cute. Then we you call then her Lainey. We need to get a Kramer. Yeah, Lainey's cute. Yeah, we need Lainey. to get a George. A George. Get a, a whole three more kittens. Seinfeld yes, cast. I, I cat. Cat. Oh wait, here's your five kittens. Now you have Newman, Kramer, George. <laughs> And then, and then Charlie's Newman. Yeah. Because <laughs> he doesn't come in all the time. Yeah, and he's a jerk. Newman. Sometimes. I do love Seinfeld. I think it's great. Um, I've never watched a full Jerry Seinfeld special, like stand-up. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure his stand-up is very similar to like the whole, what to do with the airplane? Literally, peanuts, he does that it's not funny whole either. show that was like riding in cars, right? Like comedians. Or what is that? You know what I mean? I like that, that show, show a lot. You, have you watched it? I've watched several episodes. The one with Seth Rogen's really good. The one with Eddie Murphy. Oh, he did one with Obama. It's called one... Drinking he Coffee did? with Comedians. Oh, really? Riding in Cars yeah. and Drinking, Drinking Coffee yeah, with Yeah, I'm comedians. like riding in cars or something about riding in cars. No, okay, so what he does, have you ever seen an episode? No. He always has some sort of car. This is a 1956 Jaguar oh, Roadster. Wow. It's this, 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 this. I'm on my way to go pick up Jamie Foxx, and we're going to go to this coffee shop that nobody knows oh, about. Oh, okay. Mm. But it's always like full and people are like, oh, yeah, you know, because they can see that it's Jerry Seinfeld and some other celebrity. And then they just sit down at a booth and they talk about their careers. So it's actually pretty okay, interesting. Okay, so it's not like a bit. And it's funny. Not like carpool karaoke. No, oh my no, 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 not at all. No, they're, they're in the car. They're talking in the car. Then when they get to the coffee shop, they order their coffee and they talk about, you know, their careers. And what, you know, like got you to this point, stuff like that. It's actually really interesting. Hmm. Yeah. There's never been, well, I don't know if, I can't say there's never been, but in terms of series finales, it has got to be one of the top worst finales of all time, the Seinfeld finale. Really? Oh, no. It's terrible. So don't watch it's Seinfeld. It's so bad. Don't, don't watch the end. Seinfeld. Seinfeld? No, no, but it's, it's not like, Seinfeld's not like one, like a long running drama where like, whatever, but the last episodes are Isn't bad. Isn't Seinfeld like The Office where there's a plot, but like there's not really a plot. It's mostly tropes and it's like... Yeah, I mean, random. there's a bit each time and there's recurring characters and all this stuff. Like, but yeah, so the it's end like the of office. it is bad. Comedians in cars getting coffee. Comedians I knew it was cars, cars and coffee. you knew it was coffee. Like there is low-key plot, but not really. Yes. Like you could fall asleep to Seinfeld, but oh, okay. Yes, and there's always a bit, and you have to know all the Seinfeld references because everywhere in life you go around thinking, "Oh, this is Seinfeld." Ref- Seinfeld, you know, we always do that. It's always I, a Seinfeld I am reference. okay with any ending of any show as long as it freaking ends. Okay, what drives me crazy is like, "My name is Earl." Love the show. Canceled. Sorry, got canceled. You're never gonna know mm-hmm. what happened. I hate Las that. Vegas. Literally left me just completely. Hanging. Yes. Yes. I like, hate being laughed. I can't do it. And it makes me well, not want to watch daisies. the damn show anymore. I know. They had to... Pushing Daisies, they did kind of an epilogue that was like, then wrapped everything up. But that I hate that too. When they just... I mean, at least it's better than not wrapping up yeah. anything. But There should know. be a rule. If a show gets canceled, that. one of the writers has to write a damn book. That's why fanfic is so popular. To give you closure. Because people then write continuations of stories. It's headcanon. That's why yeah. I had canon. Head canon is canon. That's why there's some shows that people like, like that one you were talking Super about. Um, what's, what's, really that, what's that zombie one? Santa Clarita Diet. You're like, have you ever watched that? And I'm like, yeah, I heard it was good. That's a zombie got, show? It got canceled. So Santa Clarita Diet did the same thing. I think so. I'm not going to watch it when people are asking for another season. People are like, bring it back, bring it back, which means it didn't end on like a satisfying closure. Speaking of amazing shows that everybody loves, Outer Banks comes out with a new season. Shut, it does not. Yeah, there's a new season coming out with Outer Banks. I'll watch it. And, and someone I'll hate literally it. just told me they were like, <laughs> "I love that show." What is up with you? I can't finish shows I like, and you're like, "I hate this." You're show. still going to watch, watch it, it again, it. and I I'm going to watch it later in life just to remember how bad it was. <laughs> yes, and I'm going to rewatch the series before and the I'm going to fall asleep up. to it randomly. Yes. No, Outer Banks. So the first season of Outer Banks came out. Everyone loved it. Obsessed with it. 
I hated it. I remember mom was like, hey, I'm going to try watching Outer Banks. So you're on the couch like, oh, yeah, what do you think? You're on like the second season, right? You must like, hey, I hate it. <laughs> like, so I bad. hate this show. This show is so bad. No, but okay. So the first season was super hyped. And then it came back for a second season. People were very excited. I go, oh, I can't remember what happened the first season of the show. I know I watched it. I rewatched the whole first season <laughs> before watching the second season. Why would you do because that? I have, to? I have this is like what I do on every time The Walking Dead comes out with a new season on whatever. I rewatch like the whole thing, and then I watch. It. I like, oh, can't yeah, I forgot how much finish I a single freaking show I like. Yeah, so then I, I have watch the forty season, Banks, episodes left of Naruto, and I can't. Naruto sucks worse than Outer Banks. Oh you my god, people are going to be Naruto running to our house and coming for me. <laughs> okay, we Swinging know their arms at this. our door. <laughs> who's Derek Wayne Jones? Don't know. Okay. Who's Ooh. Dave Gahan? 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 Don't know. Okay. Billy Ray Cyrus. Is he Achy Breaky Heart, right? Yes. Not Boots. Miley Boogie. Cyrus. We had this Boots argu- and Boogie. We had this argument on like the Patreon. It's Brooks and Dunn. Yes. We've had this conversation. Is he actually related to Miley Cyrus? Yes, Miley Cyrus' dad. So he was in ha- he was in Hannah Montana. That yes, Hannah Montana's dad. Yeah, yeah. Billy Ray Cyrus, Miley Cyrus' dad. Hannah. Yes, that's all I know. He also had that song, the freaking with that trending stupid cowboy thing. Oh what was that God. called? Oh my God! He was part of freaking Old Town Road. No, Old Town Road. No, Did you just call that stupid. No, no, no. The trend got on my nerves because it was like everywhere. Remember that song? I still feel like it holds a billboard. It it. Has the most weeks at Billboard number one, I think. Hold so. on, hold on, hold on. He did when? What did Billy Ray Cyrus? He did? did the, he did it with Lil Nas X on the one that came out mainstream. Lil Nas X and Billy Ray Cyrus yeah. are the ones doing Old Town Road. Yes, he came out in and, the version uh, that then was released to like the Country Music Awards and all this other. That stuff. song absolutely blew up. It, have I heard the one with him in it? Yes, I'm sure because that was the one that was on the radio. He's oh. the chorus. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm going oh, and, and Lil, Lil, I can't no Lil, more. That's so Billy Ray Cyrus. Lil Nas is the rapping. Lil Nas is the rapping, right? The old town roof. Oh, He's my the, God. Wow, what an going era. going to ride. I can't no more, you know. Got the horse what was the back. Do you remember the trend? What was the trend? I remember it was everywhere. I have no idea what trend you're I don't know what the about. trend was, but I know that song but was I know the song it was, was it was just as popular as that Drake one with the car. It was more popular. Kiki. It was more popular. That song is so popular. It was so big. Billy Ray Cyrus makes me think of Miley Cyrus, which makes me think of my all-time favorite video on the I internet the that I talk about all the time. Wait, what? My chat roulette. My favorite video of the chat roulette guy doing freaking wrecking ball. <laughs> That's my favorite video. Better of all than time. the beans. Better than beans. Yeah, better it than really beans. Is. <gasps> better really is. I laugh beans. and I cry every time I watch that video. Oh my god, it's like wholesome. It's so perfect. Which it's, one? Uh, this guy, he just looks like a normal dude. Kind of got long hair. Kind of got some facial hair. Wearing like a bikini, dancing. So chat roulette is like Omegle similar type yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. He's wearing and like a bikini, right? Yeah, he's wearing a bikini or and he's lip syncing. Wrecking Ball, and it just is a whole compilation of him doing it to and the random people, on. and they're smiling, and they're loving it, and they're dancing around, too, and, <laughs> <laughs> you Iconic. know, my favorite video on the internet. Look it up. Look it up if you haven't seen Look it. Look it up. My favorite video. Troy Laundry. Don't know. A hunter. So, I was going to say, he sounds like a football player. <laughs> Same thing. Uh, Steve Martin. Steve Martin, favorite Steve Martin movie. Plane, Trains, and Automobiles. Who's Steve Martin? Steve Martin is the guy in Plane, Trains, and Automobiles with John Candy. <laughs> <laughs> the Jerk is really? my favorite Steve Martin movie. The Jerk. Okay. Oh. Plane, Trains, and Automobiles is a close second. Um, he's in everything, Cam. He's basically like, he, he was, was on Saturday Night Live with Chevy Chase. Yes. In oh, the he's 80. that guy. Yeah. He's in a he's show. A he's a dentist in. in no, uh, he's in The Pink Panther. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Pink Panther. He's a dentist in <laughs> Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah, Little Shop of Horrors dentist. And he's supposed to be... That show he's in with Selena Gomez now is supposed to be really good. Has anyone ever watched it? It's on Netflix. It's like apartment... What's it called? I have no something idea. Something murder. Murder something. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Murder something. Yeah. Murder. He's in the Pink Panther Murder. <laughs> uh, Gotta love him. Bright white hair. And he always works with uh, Martin Short. Oh, yeah. Steve Martin, Martin Short. Uh, the oh, new no. Steve Martin show is Steve called Martin. Only Murders in the Building. I did. I said murders. Steve Martin is two first names. Oh, look. It's Martin Short. 
Oh, hey, it is Martin Short. I didn't even know he was in this. So you got Steve Martin, Martin, Martin Short, and Selena Gomez. Only murders in the building. Steve Martin, the two first name thing doesn't hold up for Steve Martin, but that's okay. Martin and Steve. Steve. Not a they do. Flag. They stand up together. Yeah. I looked it up. Both Derek Wayne Jones and Dave Gahan are religious singers. So, yeah. Sorry, guys. We can't comment on those. Floor Jansen. Floor. When? I had to look Floor. up, by the way. Speaking of religious singers, do you remember? What was it? Collective Soul. Do you remember Collective Soul? Yeah. I, of course, the I grew up in the 90s. I had to look them up and see if they were like a religious band. They're not. They're not religious, no. No, they're not. You thought I, they were religious? I, for some reason, remembered them as like, you know, a fish type thing, but they're not. Oh, no. Do you know Floor Jansen? That's Blessed Union of Souls. Jansen. Floor Jansen. Blessed Union of Souls. Jaeger was, Man Jansen. The, that's uh, the name of the person one. that's buried with the hat. He was number one. Who? <laughs> Who? Do you know Kane Jager. Harder? No. Kane. Yeah. Kane. Looking at why up. do I know that name? Who is this? I do feel like I know that name. Kane Hodder is um, an American actor, stuntman. Wayne he's, knows. He's Jason Voorhees. Wayne knows this. That's why I know this name. What do I know? He's Kane Howder. Kane Hodder. Kane Hodder. Howder. Hodder. Than Get who? out of the freaking house. Kane's hotter than who? He's not. His name is not. Hotter than, hotter than you? Kane's hotter than who? That depends Kane's on your, hotter than Wayne. That depends Kane's on your hotter. taste of men. I don't know what he looks like, so. Wayne's hotter what? than Kane. What about? Kane hotter is the best Jason <laughs> that ever came to be, okay? They're, all the Jasons are good, all right? But once Kane hotter came into the picture... It was perfect. Okay, he I started. He started Friday the Thirteenth Part Seven, so he's only in Seven, Eight, and Hell. All the and, other ones are different. Jason. And he's good. He's the best Jason as far as like movement. Like you can actually feel his expression. I was you gonna know say, I mean? yeah. Does Jason say anything? Yeah, no, he doesn't say anything. But you can actually like that's the thing. This is so good. You can see his emotions. You so can you see can... he's really frustrated and angry Ooh, with that's Tiffany. Good. That's really in Part Seven. He's like a mime. Yeah, that's like, like serious pantomime. Mind. You get, you can see, like he walks like I'm gonna kick your ass. You know what I mean? You threw me out the window, mm. and then he also is like very aggressive. Start walking like that. He's best. He's that. I'm just gonna try walking best. around the house like that now and you see what you do. See that already. Man's respect. <laughs> you do that already. You don't have to try, mom. Walk around. I just did the movement. It was kind of good. Yeah. Make that, I walk make like dinner. that to go get the cat's treat. I yep. walk like that to go get the Amazon package. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Rotten. He's awesome. He did, he did autographs and I missed it. I'm so mad that I missed autographs Singer at of work. Singer punk band. Sex Pistols. Yes. Who? The Johnny Rotten. Johnny Rotten. Sex Pistols. I did pistols. have some Sex Pistol CDs. I don't know too much about Which it, but one? I know that Gary, Gary Oldman played him in the movie. Uh, and, I, and I did see that. It was good. But I don't know too much about Sex Pistols. Were Kelly you ever a big punk Clarkson. fan? Kelly Clarkson. That's the only thing. I Kelly know. Clarkson. Yeah, Kelly it. Clarkson. Start of a freaking era, by the way. And I don't think she's going by Clarkson anymore. She changed her last name. Why um, did she she was the first American Idol. She was Google. the first. The, the original. First I just remember. Original I still remember her singing. American I still Idol. remember wearing like these low rise bell bottoms because that was the style then. I remember she Justin had like Garana. the freaking Rachel haircut, and yeah, it just was so. Um, I will she was say good now. that Kelly Clarkson is the only um, female pop singer who I love your Christmas album. Love I, the Christmas I albums. enjoy a Kelly Clarkson. Christmas album? What um, was her song? Her amazing. song was like the Song of the Hills. What? What's that song? Which one? Christmas song? No, 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 no. What was the song? She's the, the one that sang the Song of the Hills? Uh, look at the Hills song. Or is it, is it Laguna <laughs> Beach? Which one was it? Do you know how it goes? I, I do, but not right now. Since we were gone. No, it's not that one. And I'll be the first time. Heartbeat song. Written. That's Break Natasha Bedingfield. Behind no, no. these hazel That's eyes. That's Natasha Bedingfield. My not life would suck without you. Since unwritten. you've been gone. Yeah. Oh, she sings wasn't. Since You've Been Gone. She sings Unwritten. Maybe they sing Since You've Been Gone. No, she doesn't sing Unwritten. I was wrong. <laughs> it's like, wait, Natasha what? Natasha Bedingfield. No, okay. Yeah. What, was the, what was the Laguna Beach one? Natasha Bedingfield. Because of okay, you. Then what was the... Uh, because of oh, you. No, that was the Hills. What was Laguna, the Laguna Beach? The Laguna Beach one was... Please Are, say are you Kelly sure it's Kelly Clarkson? Clarkson? I don't know. I'm not Are you sure thinking now. from Justin to Kelly? Because it was on a beach. No, 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 no. <laughs> Laguna Beach song. Da, na, na, na. Uh, so good looking. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. How can they... 
How can that not be on the internet somewhere? The theme song? Yes, just what is the opening scene of Laguna Beach? Why don't you just put like Kelly Clarkson, Laguna Beach, maybe something will come up. Well, I mean, you're the one with the phone out, mm-hmm. not no. me. No, you're wrong. Oh, you just thought it was Natasha Man, Bedingfield. I feel like that's one of those things. Since you've been gone. Since you've been gone. Was it that's... since you've been gone? They must have played that. Like, I feel like they played that when, like, Lauren and freaking Steven leave or something. And then something. They I, There was an iconic Kelly Clarkson moment. And you're not mm. going to tell me otherwise. Or it's one of those Mandela effect things. Because of you. Everyone's stronger? Was it stronger? Me. No. Those are the only songs. Oh, well. I, I dig it. Everyone's gonna hate me. Actually, no, they're not. They're gonna be like, "Is she young?" She Is it me? It was American I Idol. Way better. James Hatfield. I'm sorry, Metallica. Mid. I'm not my no. thing. I'm not gonna go oh, out of my way. This Metallica dude. I hate Metallica. <clears throat> American Idol was way they better in the sued. '90s. Metallica I'm just saying that, that right now. Everyone. Throwing that out there. I thought that was Kiss. You guys catch no, it? No, 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 no. Or no? That's yeah, Metallica. American Idol is better now. Right? It was way better back then. I mean, better back then. Than it is now. Metallica was the one that sued everyone on Napster, right? It was basically their drummer, Lars, but yeah. Yes, that's that why was I hate kiss? Metallica. No, it was Metallica. Literally, one of my friends in high school, they were part of this freaking suit of Metallica. They got sued by freaking Metallica for downloading wow. their songs on Napster. Everyone was downloading on Napster. Yeah. You downloaded thousands of songs, like, at a time. Like, everyone had just millions and millions of songs. Yeah. On their computer, and you burn CDs and whatever, and who cares? And that's why I hate Metallica. Mm. And we'll never listen to Metallica. I was never a Metallica fan in, in general. Like, even their music never. And really. that's why I wasn't part of the lawsuit because I didn't download freaky Metallica. Probably. Can. Anyways. Mid. What's mid me? <laughs> yeah, no, Metallica. It's okay. It's like an insult, though. That you like Metallica? Fighting for no, your music. Mid. mid. It's like an insult. Mid, but not really. So when I don't like, it's like mediocre, mid. but it's more. It's like hmm. mid, freaking mid, mid. This Who? podcast so mid. <laughs> better not call Famous this podcast is mid. So mid. Who's that? Mid means bad. No, mid I means strive mediocre. to be middle of the road. It's mediocre. I strive to be middle no, of the road. It becomes an mid. issue. People use it to like Pretty describe people's looks and stuff. Five is good. Mid. <laughs> Five's fine. Anyone out there who's five? What's your favorite? That's freaking Defensive good. Though. Tom Cruise. <sighs> Someone yeah. actually wrote Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. They're trolling us now. They're trying to yeah. trigger me. Believe it or not, Tom Cruise is like a popular amongst a lot of people. But people are really excited to see his new Top Gun movie. Mm. Uh, really? Camden is now. This is one thing. So many people pass down things to their children. They pass down traditions. They pass down stories. You know they tell stories around the fireplace and all this other stuff and yep. i tell camden <laughs> stories of how i won't watch a tom gun movie or tom cruise movie <laughs> since top gun that's the last one i've seen i think no i saw jerry Maguire. i haven't watched one since jerry Maguire. i haven't seen any of the mission impossibles i haven't seen any of the other ones you didn't see any good tom cruise movies i thought tom cruise was freaking popular and like far and away and all those other ones right no but you're missing like all the good Tom Cruise well movies. I'm not watching them you're missing Risky ever Business ever since he freaking risky jumped business. on the couch on Oprah and did the weird Katie Holmes stuff he, what, what I was thought the, he was just a Scientologist yeah but he married Katie Holmes and she was much younger and oh. he just weird he jumped on the couch he did weird stuff he jumped I just, on the couch just banned banned I don't, you jump, you no don't jumping jump on, on the couch, the couch. <laughs> don't jump on that couch. Like so that's all I gotta do. Yeah, don't jump, jump on, on the couch. couch. It's like divorce. I don't know. I just had actually what it was. He just jumped on a couch. He did jump on a couch. He was very excited. He said, "What was the word he said?" Tom Cruise. He said a, a weird thing. Ago. He said it was a long time ago. I'm not looking it up. Because I don't want him on my phone. Tom he Cruise said what a if... weird word and jumped on a couch, <laughs> and that's <laughs> why we're never gonna watch a movie of him ever in our life. I haven't watched it in so long, and it's like when you haven't done something, you know, like when you haven't called a friend, an old friend, in like so long that you can't do it. Not that he's an old friend, and not that I have any desire to watch the movies, but I just can't do it now. And I've Camden has never watched a Tom Cruise movie. I was like, it's because he's a Scientologist. And then I'm like, well, I also, still watch What's His Name. That you probably watch what's a lot name? of Scientology movies you don't even realize. Yeah, it, there's a lot of Scientologists no, out I there. No, I know What's His Name. Pulp Fiction. John Travolta. Yeah, John yeah. Travolta. I watch John Travolta. You what? <laughs> I watch John Travolta. I watch you watch John Travolta. You just don't want... So, okay, Top Gun, Risky Business, Cocktail. You've never seen any of these I saw, movies. Yes, no, I said not since Jerry Maguire. Rain Man. Yeah, I said not since Jerry Maguire. So Jerry Maguire, I saw that one and then didn't watch Interview anymore. with the Vampire. I said it was vampire. after the freaking couch incident. And You're going to go your whole life without watching Interview word. with the Vampire, Camden? 
What is the word? I've never seen it. Oh, but no. I heard it was really good. <laughs> That's got Kirsten Dunst. Yikes. I don't know. I just. I like Risky Business. That one's great. Where he starts like the prostitute ring in his, in his house. Yes, I've it's seen that It's a comedy. One. It doesn't sound like it, but it is. Top Gun. Is a freaking I classic. I've never seen the mummy. Legend with Tim Curry seen... as the devil. I haven't seen that one. Do you remember that? Mir Savino? All right, I'm done. What, uh, the uh, Outsiders? He's not even in that much. He's not even he's in that much. He's literally That's in right. The Outsiders for like two minutes, but still. I'm, okay, I need to figure out what did he I, I, Okay. Bex the says. Couch, you can look up Couch. Street. Robert Plant. Now I want to know who knows Robert who Plant. Robert Plant is. Robert Plant, go. Just tell me. I you, you, what first thing that comes to your mind? Who is Robert Plant? Go. What? It's not our ghost. Uh, what? Jimmy Page and Robert Plant. Robert Plant Old is the freaking lead singer of Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Yeah. No, you knew that. Of course. Yeah. Robert Plant. Put no stairway. Stairway to heaven. You can't play stairway. Why? That's from Wayne's World, right? Oh, is this any when they right. play the get the guitar and it's like no stairway? You can't. Yeah, what was that? Community? No, it was Wayne's World. Wayne's it? World. Oh yeah. I don't really like Led Zeppelin. Oh either. yeah. Anyway, Led Zeppelin's awesome and Robert Plant's lead singer. Blah, blah, blah. Just laying on your bed, listening to Led Zeppelin. I don't like classic rock. On your rock. six disc changer, and then it goes from Led Zeppelin to Pink Floyd. I don't like classic rock, really. How can you not like classic rock? Because we didn't raise her correctly. No, we obviously did. She, she you raised me to be a goddamn virgin by showing me Weezer and only Weezer. Weezer's good. <laughs> don't that's give, not classic. Don't give your kids the Bible. Give them Weezer. You They're still need to like. Give them need Weezer like, Blue Album instead of a promise ring. Yeah, exactly. Chastity no, you don't need to teach your kids abstinence. Just give them Weezer's Blue Album, and we'll be <laughs> God. You still need to right. like. Dude, God. Um, I liked Weezer before they were virgins, okay? So, I'm cool. Aren't Weezer, like, super old like us? Okay, this is very Yeah, bad. but yeah. everyone's meme is if you like Weezer, you're you're virgin forever. Do <laughs> that. It's Classic as bad rap. as liking Amber radio. Amber Marshall. Hey, is Someone she from freaking that. Heartland? I have no idea. <laughs> Canadian. She yes, she oh, is. Heartland. Heartland. She's Amy Fleming in Heartland. <laughs> Horse show. Horse girl. Horse girl. <laughs> Heartland. I've watched. I've watched not all of it, I've, but I've watched a lot of. Do you at least of like Heartland. that one? You like I mean, that it's one, right? Heartland. It's there's, horses. There's horse drama. I like a good horse drama show because I also watch Wildfire like five or six times. I like horse shows. Mm, horse, horse drama. Horse drama. Love horse drama. Amy Fleming. With mom Ty. does this. Mom does this annoying Baby, thing of like putting hair. shows on at the middle of the night and then falling asleep. And then yes. I sit up there and I'm like, I don't like this. I don't like this. And then McLeod's daughters, for instance. And <laughs> yes, then like, show. and then three days later, I'm like, so did that guy end up getting with the girl or whatever? Like, what happened exactly? Yes. And I'm like, this bullshit because I'm just sitting there in bed trying to like, you know. And, and you ask me I have to like, watch oh, it. I don't remember. I don't watch me. very closely because I don't watch shows very closely. I'm like, why, I don't remember what happened. I think that's why I was. Gilmore so now we're on parenthood, yeah, so watch which I have to turn immediately to say by the bell because I get way too hooked to parenthood. Way too hooked is drama. I need to know what's going on in parenthood. And before you're watching the OC. <laughs> yes, I watch the OC. I can't do it. I go to bed at 4.30 in the morning because yes, of watch you. watch all these shows. You've I've watched, watched 18 Hill. episodes in a row and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are barely opening. <laughs> And I'm like, that's why I put Saved by the Bell on. I go to bed with Saved by the Bell. That's right. We need to watch shows that are not interesting. Timmy, you need to put on. And so Gilmore Girls interests you. Damn Gilmore Girls. Is, uh, <laughs> that, that also does not. Okay, listen. I plead the fifth if anybody asks. But Gilmore Girls, damn it. I got hooked. It got hooked. I had to know what was going on. That's right. Luke and Lorelai. The will I'm they saying we have they. to watch Luke things that we've either seen a thousand times, they. which is Gilmore Dean Girls. Dean and Lorelai will they yeah, Gil- they. Gilmore Girls I can fall asleep to instantly because I've seen it. It's not that interesting. I've I, memorized I, every show single I kind of episode. I love, but I hate, hate watch type show. Mm-hmm. I hate every I character. I would never, ever in my life choose out of my own will to watch Gilmore Girls not past <laughs> 11 o'clock. <laughs> no, no. I would never put it on in the day. Ever. Ever. That's a crime. It's if a I see someone... I No, I don't know. There were friends though. Got me more good me. ones. Got me last. Who's few. Tim Easton? Don't know. Who's Carrie Carrie Fisher? That sounds funny. Carrie Fisher. That's Carrie. Leia. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, is that it? Who is it? Carrie Fisher. <laughs> Carrie Fisher. Who's that? Leia. Princess Leia. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. 
I know. Rest in yeah. peace. Oh, Eminem. I got Tom Cruise like three My times. My name is. Yeah, there you go. Eminem. Yeah, Eminem. I always talk about how I saw Eminem on SNL. Danny Elfman. And on, um, and in concert. Do you never saw Eminem? Does he still tour? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think he so, yeah. music still. I think so. He's got new music. I can't oh, imagine going to an Eminem concert now. I'm so old. 25 <laughs> years later? Hell no. 20 years. 20 years. <clears throat> Just too old for this stuff. Oh. Way too old for this stuff. Does anybody know who Danny Elfman is? He is... Does he do those, like, Strictly Ballroom and, like, direct movies? Composer. Composer. Uh, that one. For? Across the Universe. I don't know. Which one? Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh. Coraline. Oh. oh. There's all the music. Batman, Charlie oh. Chuck Factory. You know what I mean? Like he, uh, Tim Burton. I recognize He's Tim name. Burton's. If you ever watch a Tim Burton movie, you usually yeah. see Danny Elfman because he does the music for most Tim Burton, Tim Burton music movies. movies have the best music. Yeah. It's amazing how much like a score Coraline can elevate. Is amazing. He, but he was yeah. also, back in the day, he was also the singer for Oingo Boingo. <gasps> really? Yeah. Oingo and if Boingo. you remember Oingo Boingo. I, I know. I mean, I remember. I know they're on like my playlist. Like their songs. <laughs> they're on my playlist. Dead Man's somewhere. Party. Yeah, I was just going to say, I'm a Dead Man Party. We yeah. always played at Halloween. Right, right, <laughs> it's right, a right, song right. that always freaking yeah, played right, Halloween. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's on the Halloween playlist. It's the Dead Man's Party. He's a redhead <laughs> over there in the front there. Check your body at the Who's door. Who's Donna Summer? Bo- also, Weird Science. At the door, so. Weird Science. Yeah, okay. That's Oingo Boingo. And that's also on the uh, Halloween playlist. Yeah. Who's Donna Summer? Which is Donna interesting. Donna Summer sings Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Really? Maybe. What's Who's Dennis Hopper? Dennis Hopper is, he played a villain in like every 90s movie. Oh, really? Yeah. Didn't Dennis Hopper play, he was always a bad guy. Dennis Rodman? Dennis like Hopper. Like horror or just horror. like. <laughs> what about horror. Dennis Hopper? Always played a bad guy, right? It seemed like in Like movies, horror bad guy? Or most of the time. Yeah, like bomber bad like guy speed. type. Yeah. Most of the time like he played a bad guy, guy but he didn't like always a, play a bad guy. Not like Waterworld. Yeah, I, was, I watched True Romance. I feel like he was always a bad guy in the 90s. Okay, I got. I have my own here. Okay, give me a couple. He's an I'm alpha kind of and omega. <laughs> as, as you were, uh, is that the new song that's on right now? Who is that? Who sings that? One of the One Direction guys. Whoa. As you were. Come on, it's like very popular. Harry Styles? Liam, huh? probably. Who is it? Harry, Harry Styles. Harry Styles. Mm. So you haven't Lewis. actually heard this song? What song? We don't like that. How does it go? As it was by As Harry was. Styles. That's Harry Styles. Okay. Uh-huh. I need you. I need you to. I'm gonna play it. All right. Hope we're not gonna copyright. Right? I'm gonna play we it. Might. Do like ten it. seconds. Just a little bit. I want you to hear the beginning of this song. Okay. And tell me that this doesn't sound exactly like "Take on Me" or whatever. Okay. Does that not sound like a take little. on? No, no. Yes, Maybe a little bit. I don't see that even it a little bit. It sounds more like that blinding lights a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay, no. That meant the day. I can do the guy room. Take, take we said, on Babe, this is like our kitchen me. song. This is that our is kitchen not. song. Huh. Whenever this, when Take On Me comes on, we always do the take. We do our hands at each other with the wiggle fingers oh. and we go, take on me, take me on. And we kind of dance in the kitchen. That's our dancing kitchen song. <laughs> yeah. It's Even though one. the music video is like We far used to clean the apartment anything. when we had an apartment back in the day. We yeah. clean it listening to 80s music, vibing yeah. like crazy. 80s yeah. music. For some reason, I love One we Night just in Bangkok. That again it's not here. really a good mess. Not like the lyrics are good and like whatever, but I love One Night in Bangkok. Uh, th- it's very similar to me. Okay. Anyway. Very similar. Jesse Eisenberg. Is he the. He's, he's the, the guy that reminds me of what's his name? Yeah, that time. other dude that always. The reminds other me guy. Of him. The guy from uh, whatever. Super bad. Yeah. Zombie what's his Land. name? God damn it. Jesse Eisenberg. Should have been. Should have been. What's Zombieland. Name? And also reminds you of that one guy, and also reminds you of the guy from um, the Mike other guy. Ultra. Super bad guy. He Michael, only, Sarah. Michael Sarah, Jesse Eisenberg, he, and the other Michael guy. Sarah and Jesse Eisenberg are the same person. And you're not changing. You also think that Michael other Sarah? Guy. It's Is that, or same, am I thinking also Jesse? Same Eisenberg. character too. You know how many? How many really, really basic? Yeah. Teenage kind of passing almost <laughs> guys. Do you need? I'm not a huge he was in Jesse that, Eisenberg uh, fan. All magic of movies one, right? are very similar, huh? The magic one. The magic magic one. abracadabra one. Look, now you see it. 
Yeah. Yeah, he was in that. Now one. you see it. I don't know. Michael Now Sarah. you see me, Zombie Land, the, the social guy? network. What's the he guy played Mark in Zuckerberg. Brooklyn 99? Brooklyn 99. Is he in that? Oh, Andy Samberg? Andy Samberg. You're thinking Are Andy they Samberg. all the same? Yeah, they, they are. Like... They're the same person. <laughs> they're triplets. I swear. Whoa, that's crazy. And he could play, same... Andy Samberg could play him in a movie. It's like, yeah, stunt double, but kind of. Michael Sarah, like I don't, don't really see it, but from... I understand the acting is the same with yeah, Michael Sarah. Yeah, the acting's exactly the same. Yeah. All right. What? That was our take on celebrities. What we knew, what we didn't know. We rambled on and on and on and on. I don't even know. Rambled. Mm-hmm. We did ramble. Wasn't entertaining. Ramble Wasn't cast. like whose line is it anyways. No, whose line is it? We're boycotting humor this podcast. Yeah, there we was, don't listen to the man. There was no humor. We're not being. We're going to go from famouses to ramble cast. I'm sure once someone's called Ramblecast Ramble already. Ramblecast has to be something. Ramblecast too good. It's taken. Ramblecast too Damn. good. Damn. Damn. Okay. Well, we'll leave you on that note. <laughs> See you next yeah. week. Everyone pet your cats. Think of how allergic Wayne is. And he'd still pet your cats. <laughs> I can't breathe right now. He can't breathe. It's messed up. I got to find a 24-hour allergy medication. That's right. Recommend the good get ones. Get a shot or something. Mm-hmm. Yes, get the shot. Always get the shot. Get your shots, people. Yep. All right. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.